Zig Ziglar has said, the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. Family in Christchurch, my name's Tony Collis from Hope Center in Levin, and I celebrate your focus towards evangelism, discipleship, and reproducing small group dynamics. Making a priority to make the main thing the main thing is not easy. It's challenging. And uh, but it rewards like nothing else. And so I celebrate the journey that you're just starting and uh, you can be assured of our ongoing celebration and praying for you. God bless you. Well, hello there. It's uh, James Anson here from Auckland. My wife and I, Viv, we lead a house church network up here in Auckland, across in Fiji, uh, starting to extend into other parts of the country now. We've been in the movement now for uh, two years. We basically came out of the COVID shambles and um, God spoke to us a lot during that period of time, particularly about the effectiveness of the church. We've been pastors for 35 years and uh, we've planted numerous churches over that period of time. But uh, this is our first time um, in the micro network of church planting where we're planting, multiplying house churches through making disciples who make disciples and we're building the kingdom of God one life at a time. And I just wanted to say to Chris and, and those of you that are here at the formation, it's a very exciting time for you. It's a very exciting time for us. I met Chris uh, about a month ago. He, he rang me and made an appointment to see me in Auckland. And I was um, very enthused by his enthusiasm, by his vision, his dream. And Chris, of course, is, is a long-standing pastor in his own right and uh, has studied um, very hard looking down the track at the Micro Church Network. And uh, I believe that uh, you're about to embark on something that could bring about many life-transforming stories as the church is unleashed into neighborhoods, workplaces in the South Island. And uh, just know that you've got our support, you've got our love, you've got our prayers. We long and yearn to see more heading down this track as we believe that this is one of the great last moves of the church in the Western world where the Western world is waking up to the fact that there is also a very effective way of expanding the kingdom of God through church planting, micro church planting and releasing, training and equipping disciples uh, within their own communities, their own neighborhoods to begin to reach out to the people who live right down the street from you. So just to let you know that we, we, we're we praying for you. We are very excited to hear the reports of what God is doing in your midst and know that you have our love and that you have our support. So hi da from me and um, congratulations again, Chris and the team. And we look forward to hearing some great reports from you in the future. Over and out. Hi, my name's Nick Klinkenberg, and I have yet to meet you, Chris, but I'm looking forward to that on the 25th of uh, this month. We're in Cool and Gatter at the moment. We're just on a bit of our Aussie holiday, and uh, so it's so good to greet you from here. And like Pentecost Sunday, what a great time to launch a couple of groups. And I hear it could even be uh, three or hopefully four or five in the future. Multiplication, that's so exciting. Uh, and so, um, anyway, just I want to read a couple of scriptures uh, to you. One of them is, of course, you'll, I'm sure you'll know it. It's in Luke chapter 4, and it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released and the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of the Lord's favor has come. And I love the... Uh, uh, Place where it says in John chapter 20 uh, and he breathed on them and said receive the Holy Spirit so I pray that the presence of Jesus is so strong and so powerful as you launch these new groups and see multiplication be part of your DNA God bless look forward to seeing you Chris bye for now Hi Chris and all those who are gathered for the very first time in Christchurch as a home church. We're Nick and Sarah Field and we're from Wellington. We for the last three years have been on this incredible adventure of raising up everyday missionaries, training them and coaching them and seeing them plant home churches all throughout New Zealand and in fact in other places around the world. 
And we just are so excited that you guys are on the same journey. Um, we are loving this journey. It is really hard, it is really fruitful, and it's really worth it. So please know that we're praying for you and that together God is doing something right across this nation and we're all in the same boat together, the missionary boat. Absolutely. And Chris had asked us just to send you a wee note of encouragement. So here's our encouragement to you. As Sarah was saying, this is really hard, but don't let that distract you. Don't let that put you off. When you feel the attacks coming, there might be personal discouragement, it might be things from the outside, it might just be that you're going, where's the fruit? Where are the people who are coming to Jesus as we're sharing the gospel and as we're living as missionaries? Keep going. Don't let anything distract you. Keep going in the mission. That's an encouragement. Yeah. And so what we find with The Way, which is the name of our collective of home churches, um, all over the show. Uh, what we find is that gathering together on Zoom and in person with the leaders and with the groups to celebrate and to encourage each other, to coach one another and learn from each other is absolutely key. So may God bless you on this journey and know that you'll be in our thoughts and in our prayers. And we, we really look forward to hearing how things go. Yeah, God bless you all. See you. Bye.